All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Rich from Arm Custom Shop. We're in a bit of a different place today. We're visiting Billy because we're, we're helping him with his piece of crap. Yeah. So, where's the I, I think the car looks better like this. I would agree. <laughs> I think it would look better in a junkyard. Yeah, I think so too. Looks like a slight front end collision. So his fan exploded. I'm guessing it was the fan clutch that just failed and overspun and blew apart. Oh yeah, I'm actually going to keep it like this. Because I don't want to put the hood latch back in. <laughs> Does it just not work? Or? I just don't want to put the hood latch back in. Is it that hard to put in? Or? Yes, completely. Oh, okay. It is the absolute worst thing to put in the world. Okay, It's easy to take out. It took me five minutes to take off the fascia. Okay, To put it back in, it takes about two hours. At least for me. Billy, there's a rubber mallet in my passenger seat. You can go grab it. This can work. Okay. That's, that's not a hammer. That's, that's that's a, I know, no, but it's... Rich, it's, that's uh, a Hamar, okay? That's part of fan. That is part, probably part of the fan, yes. Did you didn't even get the, the radiator out. Is that actually part of the fan? Yes, that's fan parts. Hello. Hey, there's another fan. There's another. Oh, there's probably Why do you have one electric fan, fan and then one clutch crimp driven For fan? AC, it's just oh. badge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Are you questioning Volkswagen Audi Group Engineering? Do yeah. not do not question er, German Engineering. Cause Cause don't, don't question the building engineering. Using a wrench as a hammer. It's a Hamar. Can somebody hold this up over here? No. I don't want to. I'll, I'll get this thing off. Well, we took the, the radiator out finally. After some fighting and swear words. Mainly from Eli, who wasn't doing much. Oh. Well, maybe a douchebag over here was an asshole. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really right on. Mike's only holding a breaker bar, breaking new caps. Oh. You want to go? Yeah, I don't know how that comes I think you're better off just leaving that. <sighs> Alright, whatever. No, I didn't do anything. What? Oh, I just thought it was going to help by moving it slightly. And don't, then... don't touch it. No. All right, let's put a new radiator in and mount a fan onto a brand new radiator. Yeah, kind of suck. In auto sports? No. E Euro parts. Oh. oh. Okay, so Billy, wanna tell the internet what happened? I bought the wrong radiator. <laughs> oh, you bought it. Yeah. yeah. So this radiator here is for a Volkswagen Golf. And it pretty much lines up, minus the fact that the lower radiator hose is wrong, because on these, there's two little notches on the hose. You can see this. I seriously want to see if it works. Yeah, there's two little notches on the hose, and they, they need to up. be turned 180 degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll show the one okay. Yeah, so there's, there's a notch there, and a notch there, but on the radiator he bought, they are in the wrong spots, right? The top and the bottom. Is, like is, is it upside it? down? No. No, it can't be. Was no. this radiator leaking at either of these tanks? No, it had a knock, a hole punched in it or something, right? Right, you see that? Oh, it, is it just the aluminum that was leaking? What if we took it to a radiator shop and had them change take the, tank. the tanks off and put them on that one? I don't know if that... Where is there a radiator shop around here? There's one in like Monroe, I think. I am not driving all the way to Monroe. That's not far. I have no access to a car tomorrow. How are you getting to work? Huh? How are you getting to work? Man? My dad. Um, we hooked up the fan. We gotta see if it works. Basically, we got some next level haggard shit going on here. Um, wow, this is at this is on an angle. I didn't even realize that until now. All right, the power steering, the power steering cooling lines are on an angle right here. So we got the fan mounted onto the AC condenser. Um, we're trying to do it as like a pull fan or actually pusher fan. We're pushing. This um, be really sketchy. We got to heat up this temp probe now to test this because obviously there's no coolant in the car. This is gonna be sketchy. Yeah. But um, delete the AC clutch. Well, I couldn't delete the AC clutch because it wasn't coming off. AC clutch. Uh, the fan clutch, sorry. Fan clutch. I'm, it's tired. I'm tired. It's I late. know, so am I. So, we uh, installed the temp probe through the radiator. Uh, you can see it sticking out right here. But, um, got that installed. We got the relay hooked up. Uh, a little kit from AutoZone. Um, there's like a little relay and all sorts of nice stuff. But it's supposed to turn on, turn off. Um, and then got it hooked up to the battery. 
But we're gonna see if it works. So I should probably go turn the key on. Yeah. Actually, I don't have to turn the key on. I gotta just turn the lights on. Um, just turn the light. Yeah, we can just do that. Might actually have to be completely on. Knowing my car. Come on. Please work, please work, please work. Gonna take a little bit. Wait, really? Probably. Even with an open flame on it? Yeah, because it's got to heat up the whole temp probe to like 107, 180 degrees. 35, whatever it is. Oh, shit. Thanks to Rich from RM Custom Shop. I'm going to leave a link again to his... YouTube channel right here. Okay. You do you get all fancy with the links and stuff. I'm just like, yeah, this Yeah, is you know person. what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get fancy with the links. I'm gonna put his picture right here. Okay? I'm gonna put it twice. No, three times. Again, right here. <laughs> okay. Rich. Stop. Okay. This but, is not in focus right now. So yeah. Now wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you even do that, okay. why don't you say actually like what you did in all order right. to actually get this to work? So basically we wired up electric fan to delete the fan clutch that these things have and it's horrible so wired up a fan and with the little kit they have at AutoZone they give you this temp probe that goes through the radiator and gets wired up to a relay the relay just gets power from the battery and then ground over here ground and then it needs 12 volt on so we just did the parking lights because we didn't know what else to go for because Volkswagen is a pain but Oh, we gotta heat it up again, I think. Yeah, I gotta heat it up again. Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll heat so, it up. Yeah. Okay. Well, here, where's Damn. the fucking thing? Where's the tongs? Uh, where's the tongs? Where's the tongs? Um. Where'd you put them? I don't know. Where? Oh. I'm standing up. Oh, I'm just I'm recording. I said it wasn't recording. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Heat this up real quick.